Hey guys, what's up? Today, Red Snow is updated to 0.9.15 Beta 1, and this version uh, incorporates Cydia and the IPSW into the software, meaning you can jailbreak the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and iPod Touch 4th generation on 6.0 tethered much easier than the previous version. Quickly wanted to mention that we're doing a giveaway on a live stream tomorrow, so if you missed that video, then you can click the screen now to get onto that and onto the tutorial. So the only thing you're going to need is Red Snow and your device. I'll be using iPod Touch for this video. So for Red Snow, just open it. If you're on a PC, then right click and run as administrator. If, if you're online, you might have to go into system preferences and then go into security and general and make sure that uh, you're allowed to open third-party applications but we're just going to be opening up Red Snow right now and then hit open so what you're going to need to do is hit jailbreak and make sure your iPod touch is connected uh, once you hit jailbreak it will instruct you on the next phase so we're going to be turning off the device right now so we'll just be doing that and once it's turned off, we'll be ready to jailbreak. So you're going to hit next. You're going to follow the instructions on the screen as we do on this iPod Touch. So now we're holding both the buttons, the top and the home button. And then we're going to let go of the top button without letting go of the home button. And now that we did that, then our device is going to be into DFU mode shortly. And that will proceed with the jailbreak. Now you have to make a selection, make sure install city is checked and then hit next. And then your device will continue jailbreaking. This process could take a minute and then it says done. While your device will still be running, uh, this will clear up in about a minute and you'll be able to boot tethered, which you'll have to do before any jailbreaking stuff will work. So now that your device is turned on, you can open up Red Snow again, then hit Extras, then hit Just Boot, and now turn off your device, which we'll be doing right now. And as soon as that turns off, turns off we can go into DFU mode, so we're just going to wait uh, for it to power down. Hit Next, now follow the instructions like you did before. and then the device should go into DFU mode shortly and now it will exploit with Lime Rain and uh, boot the device And now it's done. So once your device turns on, you will have Cydia. I'll show you that. It's done. Cydia will be on your device. You can just open up right now, and it will be fully functional. Remember, you're going to have to just boot every time your device turns off, as that's what happens when you have a tethered jailbreak. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.